man, how exciting! Oh, 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 really? Our first job application in years! We can finally have some more hearty stuff! Oh, I'm so excited! People of Neighborham School, I hope you're all enjoying your hearty educational day, but I have a few announcements to make before the end of lunch. Firstly, the canteen will be closed from next Tuesday to Friday, so you'll all have to bring your own hearty meals from home. In other news, you may have heard me jovially shouting out of the window. This is because we have a new job applicant for the first time in a very long time. I will be interviewing this new job application man thusly. Now, I would like to remind all students and teachers to treat this job applicant man as you would anyone else at the Neighborham School, with respect and pride. Thank you for listening. Please all enjoy the rest of your hearty educational day. Ha. <laughs> oh, look at that Peter! Oh, 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 oh dear! Oh dear! Yeah, bugger off, Peter! That's what I said to him. I'm Mr. Hearth, headmaster of this very hearty school. Uh, I'm Barry Ashington. <laughs> very nice to meet you, Barry. Oh, <laughs> uh, may oh. I take a seat? Of course you can, Barry. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry, Barry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so clumsy today. Would you, would you like me to lick it up for you? It's okay, it's just a bit of water, it's uh, fine. No, 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 it's got lemon in it. It gets ever so sticky. Would you like me to lick it up for you? Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. I'm a very good licker, I promise you. It's okay, thank you. Uh, I'll just get me a... Uh, 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 Benny? Benny? So, I'm so sorry about that, Benny. So, do you have an application form for me? Uh, yes, sir, I do, actually. Uh, very good, very good. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you. Paddy, this is your shopping list. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, this is it. Uh... There you go. Right, let's see. <coughs> so, you've put your first name where your last name should be, and your last name where your first name should be. So by this, your name is Ashington Barry. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, right. Um, and you live at 7-7 seven, seven Lane. Yes. In Neighbourham, to be expected. Yorkshire. Spelt wrong. Yes. And you have no social security number? Yes. Your desired salary is one billion yen. <laughs> well, that's quite a salary, you see, Barry, because, well, we don't use yen or any sort of currency like that in this country, so you'll have a time trying to get that. Ah, right, well, your desire, your position you have applied for is Tisha. We'll discuss that later, as that is spelled quite clearly wrong. Ha, <laughs> ha. So, are you a citizen of the United Kingdom? 
you've ticked yes and no. And you've also put that you are authorised to um, work in the United Kingdom. So, are you from the United Kingdom? Yes, I am. Oh. Uh, have you ever worked for this company? Oh, obviously not. Uh, have you ever committed a felony? Yes? Uh, I broke into a an shop and stole a loaf of bread from the bee man who said, How dare you? I was arrested. Would you like to elaborate on that, Barry? Well, uh, uh, basically, so my wife said, uh, Go to shop and get loaf bread. And I went, uh, All right. Um, so I went out and I went to Asda and uh, um, I didn't have any money so I went back outside of Asda and I jumped into the window and broke it and I landed on a shelf with bread on and so I took the bread and went outside and uh, uh, I was arrested because the uh, police station was right next door. Ha ha ha, very nice. Very. <sighs> At least you can educate the youths on how not to commit a crime. Right, education, my favourite part of course. <laughs> College. Oh, you went to N O N. That sounds quite fancy. I wonder what that's an abbreviation of. Oh, I see. You've just missed the E off non. <coughs> but you did go to university. Whittock Iron University. Very fancy indeed. In Whittock, of course. Uh, you went there from the 9th of the 12th, 1989. Oh, very good year, very good year. To the 12th of the 13th, 1990. Barry, that date doesn't exist. Oh, it's the other way around. Ah, as I thought. Uh, did you gra- Oh, you graduated! Hmm? What? It says here, look, you graduated. <laughs> Let me just correct that. Uh, my pen. Oh, I see. So you didn't graduate. But it says you have a degree, look. Uh, oh, it, it was 20 degrees in the summer. I'm assuming you worked with the weather. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, references. Harry Ashington, your brother. Company has none, address has none, and phone has none, as is to be imagined. Right, well, let's go to your next reference. Maybe that was, you know, the worst one. Barry Ashington, brother. Company has one. Oh, would you like to tell me about this company? Let me just correct that. Yeah, I see. You missed the N of non. Right. Yes. Yes. Address has non and phone has non. Right, well, I don't want to disappoint you, Barry, but you, you see, these, these references aren't very good. Thank you. You're most welcome. Right, your next reference. Curly Ashington, let me guess. See your brother was back. Oh. He's your friend. And he has a phone. O oh, two O oh, one two O oh, one two O oh, one two O oh, one oh, twelve. And he has a company? Neighbourham Hair Drive. I swear, I think I've heard of that before. Would you like to tell me more about this? Gary and how long he how old he is and how long he's owned this business? Well, you see, uh, mm. Gary is the son of my dad's friend. Uh, he, he's owned this company for a long time. I can't think uh, how long actually, but um uh, he's four years old, so and he built it out of Lego, I think, and uh, yeah, Lego man moving around. And, right, and, uh, let's move on to previous employment. Okay. <laughs> ah, uh, company. Uh, nanny boy. Uh, phone. Oh 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 one. Nanny boy. At land. That. But that's the address. Nanny boy land. Nanny boy land. Is that in Neighbourham? No, it's in Nanny boy land. Yeah. It says quite clearly there. Okay, sorry, sorry for my mistake. And your supervisor was Nanny Boy. Yeah. Oh. And your job title was. You might have liked him. Oh, I'm sure he was a lovely man. Job title: massager. I, I'm assuming you mean massager. Yes. Oh, I'm sure that was a very skilled profession. Uh, maybe you could show me some of your old skills later. Uh, your starting salary was two pence. Uh, only two pence, not pounds or uh, hundreds or thousands or millions. No, two pence. Ah, uh, oh, very nice. 
and you're ending somebody with three pence. Well, you were going up in the world, Barry. I'm amazed you even left that job. Responsibilities. It gave old people massages, and you worked there from 1990 to 2009. Oh, well, you were very committed to that job, and all of the pence it gave you over the years. Oh, huh. And your reason for leaving was sacked for using corrosive acid instead of massage cream. Wow, Barry, I'm just impressed that you used uh, proper English there. Oh, I didn't write that. My wife did. What? My wife. Why? Well, you see, when I was I was in the middle of writing it, and my wife said, "Can you get me a loaf of bread, please?" And I went, "Okay." So I went as then uh, uh, didn't have any money. You might guess I know and, uh, this part. You so she started writing it, and then right. you know, uh, I got bread. Right. Ah, good. Good. Uh, may we contact your previous supervisor for reference? No. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Ah, well, that's the only employment you've had before. So, military service. Uh, non. Right. And all that's left is your signature. Now, this may be me being a bit strange here, but it looks remarkably similar to that of the Duke of Edinburgh. Yeah, it does. Why, Barry? It does. But Barry, it says Philip. Yes, it does, I know. And your name is Barry? Yes, I know. Right, well, that's quite enough of that. So, Barry, I don't know why I'm asking this, because it's pretty pointless at this stage, but why do you want to be a teacher? I don't. What? I don't. Why? Well, well, I just don't, because, uh, well, it was just a job I could get, because I, I mean, I was... I was basically when I was actually stealing the bread um, outside. There was a in Asda. There was a sign that said, um, "Please come and get a job at Nebelham uh, School. Uh, please come and get an application form. We are desperate." Right, thank so you. So I decided thank to come you. in, and it was it was an yes, interesting yes, sign. Yes, yes, it was, it was yes. in a nice font well, as well. Well, it's been lovely meeting uh, you. Oh, all right, oh, lovely oh, meeting oh, you, buddy. Uh, uh, I'll let oh, you know about okay, the okay. job. Uh, uh, goodbye, Mr. Uh, 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 Fass. <laughs> it's half. Like the fireplace. Oh, well, I've got a story about a half, you know. Oh, when you? I broke into the, when I was in need to get a loaf of bread and I brought it into the shop and found the. Uh, yes, goodbye, there goodbye, was a half there, off you go. It was really nice half, I'll let I you like know about the job. Ta-ta. 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 See you later. Bye-bye. Well. Yeah, uh, get out. Well, it was nice of you, though, because you never ever want. Yes, the house, yes. Lovely meeting. I'm an old boss, Nanny boy. It was a very nice boss. Oh, no, 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 no,